NVIDIA coming off another record high as Wall Street looks ahead to the company's earnings report next month. CEO Jensen Wong saying that a design flaw with the company's latest Blackwell AI chips has been fixed. The company unveiling the chips in March and expected to ship them in the second quarter, but they were delayed. You're looking at losses here of just about two and a half, almost three percent. Wong now also commenting on the state of AI investment, saying that the European Union is lagging far behind the U.S. and China and needs to accelerate its progress. We have seen a number of uh, the larger tech companies come out and be very vocal just in terms of where the EU stands versus the rest of the world and the concern there just in terms of what that would do to disciple innovation and potential growth here down the line. But again, when it comes to these Blackwell chips, what we are learning in this report very much a front and center here today because there has been so much focus on the delayed Blackwell chips. They're now expected to ship in the fourth quarter the resolution of the design flaw. They presume production, then that could ultimately potentially positively impact NVIDIA's customers, including those hyperscalers that we talked about when it comes to Google, when it comes to Amazon, and then obviously a meta as well, Microsoft too. So again, just going forward, just the domino effect of what this could ultimately mean for other larger players within the space. And it's great you bring up the hyperscalers, but also the chip names, including mm -hmm. TSMC, which we just talked about. There's been some conflicting reports about whether or not the Blackwell flaw caused any ratcheting up of tensions between TSMC and NVIDIA. Jensen Huan pouring cold water on that idea, saying that TSMC TSMC helped them recover the yield difficulty and resume manufacturing of Blackwell at an incredible pace moving forward. And this mirrors kind of what I heard from Jensen Wan at the Goldman Tech Conference earlier this year, that these chips are still expected to ship in the fourth quarter, saying that the flaw in the design of the Blackwell chip was completely NVIDIA's fault, not the fault of any other partners in the space, and that it is still on track for that fourth quarter shipment. So something that we will continue to follow and certainly is going to come up in NVIDIA's earnings, which are always mm -hmm. way too late. It makes it uh, <laughs> lots of anticipation throughout the quarter as we wait for those earnings.